Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share with you the best BitScap grid bot to deploy depending on current market conditions, whether they're bearish, bullish, or just consolidating sideways. But before we get too far into the weeds, if you're not familiar with how a grid bot operates, well, it's a very basic strategy. Its strategy is to buy low, sell high in order to capture profit. So in order to achieve that objective, a grid bot is made up of open limit buy orders, which would be represented by the green lines on the chart, and open limit sell orders, which are represented by the red lines on your chart, thus making up your grid and the space between each line known as grid spacing aka profit percentage represents the profit the bot would capture. So when the price dips down, the bot is taking out the green lines or executing those open limit sell orders and accumulating the asset. And when the price rips back up, it starts taking out the red lines or selling and thus capturing profit. Now with that being said, let's take a look at the different BitScap bot options. But before we actually jump into the bots, if you're not familiar with BitScap, they're basically an automated crypto trading platform best known for their grid bots. And you can actually get started for free. I will drop a link in the description down below. And if you use my link, you can do a seven day free trial and you can actually deploy bots in their free demo mode. Thus, you will have nothing at risk. And then you can test out the platform for free. So. After you join BitScap, you would log into your account, connect one of your exchanges. You don't actually ever send money to BitScap. They basically just act as a third party between you and your exchange. And they basically send buy or sell orders on your behalf using API keys. Now I have a video on how to connect one of your exchanges to BitScap, and I will drop a link to that in the description down below. We're not gonna get into that in this video. In this case, you can see I have my Binance US exchange already connected to the platform, so I am good to go. So now I can click on the start new bot button right here. And now you can see the three different type of bots that they basically offer under the spot trading tab. And that's your traditional grid bot, which performs best in a sideways market, much like the price action we saw over here in our demo, where the price is trading in between basically an upper and a lower limit and basically chopping sideways and thus generating profit. In this case, this example is for VET USDT over on Binance. The bot was deployed for 27 days and had a profit of around 28%, so about 1% profit per day and so if the asset you're looking to trade is basically consolidating sideways with a little bit of volatility basically meaning the price is dipping down to a lower limit and ripping back up to the upper limit and doing that repeatedly throughout a period of time now the next bot is their dca bot which is a dollar cost averaging bot however it actually does it the right way it buys when the price is low and sells when the price is high but the dca bot to me works best in the long market where the price is pretty much going straight up but it's just buying the occasional pullbacks and then ripping back up and it's not consolidating in a zone like you would want with the traditional grid bot now the buy the dip bot is the third option performs best in a short market as it follows a falling price and allows you to earn on a downtrend so the first thing you actually need to do is to determine the current market conditions for the asset you're looking to trade and to do that today i am going to jump over here to the bitcoin usdt chart on the daily candles i typically look at either the daily or the four hour candles to determine what are the current market conditions and in this case i'm looking at the daily candles and if we look at a kind of a shorter time frame on the chart, we'll start with the first candle to the right over here and follow that back to this candle here. That would basically be a two week period. And you can clearly see Bitcoin's price is consolidating 
if we come down here to the bottom of these wicks at 29.5 would be the low and at the high at the top of these wicks is going to fall right around 31.5 so you could say bitcoin's price is consolidating sideways which it is for the last two weeks on the daily chart and thus a grid bot would be the best option to actually deploy in this situation now if you look back at a longer time frame i think you still see consolidation we can look back here and check our six to the top of this wick which was 31,000, so still pretty close to that 31.5 area which is coming in back up in here and then i would look back down towards the bottom of this sell-off which would be around 24.8 call it 24.5 and Bitcoin's price is slowly trading between right now essentially 31.5 and maybe 25,000. So with that all in mind, I think for today's video, I will deploy one of Bitscap's traditional grid bots. So let's jump back over here to Bitscap, click on grid bot. All right, so now we've arrived over here at the configuration dashboard for the traditional grid bot the first thing i need to do is select my exchange in this case the only exchange i have connected is binance us but you can connect a variety of different exchanges as you can see from the list down below but in this case i only have binance us so i'm sticking with the binance us exchange next i need to select what pair i want to trade again i will be trading btc usdt and typically in a bear market overall right now bitcoin's still in a bearish market i typically only trade premium assets like bitcoin and eth but you can always select from a wide variety of pairs just as long as that pair is available on your exchange i now need to determine how much ammo I want to actually give this bot to trade and it looks like i have just shy of a thousand usdt but i will only give this bot 500 usdt to trade and then i get a configuration error based on the number of grids that were basically selected based on the upper and lower limit and so i will need to do some more configuration which we're just getting started so obviously i need to do more configuration and so i click on manual adjustment and that is going to allow me to set the lower limit price and the upper limit price which is currently triggered for trailing up and so trailing up basically means if the price goes above my upper limit the bot will trail that price up and my bot will stay in the fight and so it's very similar to a q coin infinity grid bot and so with that in mind when we jump back over here to this chart i might set my upper limit at around 32,000 because again bitcoin seems to be running into resistance at around 31.5 and then i'll probably set my lower limit somewhere around probably 24.5 which would be down below this lower low so for my low we were looking at 24.5 and for my high price we were looking at 32 let's just do five now i can adjust my grid step or my percentage between each grid level remember that is considered your take profit percentage which would be the percentage between each one of these lines on the chart or I can adjust the number of grids on the chart, which will then also adjust that grid percentage. So for instance, if I drop this down to say 18 grids, you can see the grid spacing is going to be 1.54%. However, such big grid spacing would have my bot essentially not making any trades throughout this entire move because of that grid space is too wide and thus I have a buy grid down here and a sell grid up here and nothing in between so I think I'll try adjusting the grid space let's go to 0.49 percent now that setting did improve the grid levels the bot is a little more in the fight on the top side not so much on the bottom side so again going to have to make another adjustment because I still have a configuration error anyway all right since trailing up is actually turned on for this particular grid bot i will lower the high price to that 31.5 
that we have seen Bitcoin's price running into. That did actually improve the grid spacing a little bit. And I can actually turn on trailing down if I scroll down and toggle trailing down on. And I can set that trailing down price to like 24,000, which would be right below my 24.5. Thus, I don't actually have to have my low price so low. And thus, I can raise my lower limit price to, let's call it 29.5. And then now with the grid step of 0.49%, there's still a pretty big gap between the buy and sell grid levels however that is due to the fact you want to take into consideration the exchange fee and you never want to trade at a loss because of an exchange fee that is why we're missing a couple grid levels in here now let's see if we drop the grid space to 0.39 that did tighten up that space a little more. Now I guess what we should do is probably run a back test and we can do that by simply clicking on back test down here. And so if we run a back test from the basically the time Bitcoin started this consolidation sideways between 29.5 and the 31.5, the 14 day result is two and a half percent. So basically one and a quarter percent per week not great but there's not a lot of volatility right here in bitcoin's price so i guess we'll go ahead and give this a shot now before we do if we scroll down through the options you can see that i have trailing up enabled pump protection i'm going to disable that trailing down i have trailing down all the way to 24,000, which would be below the lowest low we saw on the other chart I'm not going to set a stop loss or a take profit as I am actually willing to accumulate Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin's price continues to drop, I'm okay letting this buy all the way down. The cheaper I can accumulate Bitcoin, the better. I am bullish long term, three to five years on Bitcoin. So that is why I'm not running a stop loss or a take profit. Now, with that being said, if you're trading crap coins, you better use a stop loss because not using a stop loss on crap coins is like going into battle without armor. Eventually, you're going to get killed. So with that being said, let's get this bot deployed. I can just click on continue down here and you can see I get a quick recap. And now I can click on start bot. The bot is starting up. And now the bot has bought enough Bitcoin in this case to fill all these open limit orders on the way up. And thus my break even price right now would be right up around 30,400. And the bot still holds enough ammo to execute these green open limit orders if the price continues to sell off. So I think that pretty much wraps it up. Now I will do an update video in the near future on how this bot is running. I will also deploy the other two type of bots, the DCA bot and the buy the dip bot in future videos. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss out on those future videos. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. And until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.